become the last stand. Crossed by footprints of surviving outlanders. Alright, what's up everyone? Uh, thanks for tuning in the video. If you guys are familiar with Vigor, just drop a like real quick and familiar with my channel. I appreciate that. Uh, this video is going to be for uh, pretty much everyone that's starting Vigor new, and especially for people on PlayStation. The game was supposed to be free to play November 25th, and they uh, pushed it back to December 9th, I believe. Um, worst case, they said, I think they said holidays, um, December, but they did say December 9th. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to break things down for these people and so you guys know what to do where to get some of the things um, When you first start the game out when you first start out, you're gonna be pretty broke You're not gonna have any we weapons your shelter is gonna be crap So I'm gonna try to guide you through that and then after in like four minutes in the video I'm gonna show you some different aspects and also some uh, gameplay footage uh, a little bit later in the video if you can bear with me through this I want to stress the number one thing to do to your shelter when you first start playing this game and that is building up your workbench there's a long list of weapons that you guys are gonna want so instead of getting food and the different and uh, materials and things you can start building go for the workbench because you can't craft any weapons unless your workbench is a certain level uh, any new player complete your challenges I've said it in other videos when you first start Vigor, your challenges are really good. They give you tons of good rewards, like um, a lot of crowns and airdrops. So you're going to get a lot of stuff that you need to start this game out by doing these daily challenges. We're going to get into like the guns, the gun blueprints a little bit, but I want to talk about the food. What do you do with the food that you get in game? You donate it. There's a don uh, donation box in the back of your shelter. Every week, if you donate your food, if you can reach a certain milestone, you're going to get that reward. So up to 10, if you donate up to 10,000 food, you're going to get a white, a green, a blue, a purple, and a legendary airdrop, which, which isn't bad. So donate that food. All right, let's, let's talk about these gun blueprints, because I know when you guys start out and you look at all the different guns that are in this game... You guys are going to want to craft these guns. You got to get your workbench to like level 13 if you can. And you're going to find blueprints inside of the airdrops. The best way for you guys to get airdrops at the beginning is just by playing. From the You're going to get it from the battle pass, donating your food, and doing your daily challenges. The battle pass, you guys don't have to buy that if you don't want. Right now, it's mostly cosmetic things. But there is a free side to the battle pass, and um, at least this season, a lot of airdrops, or all the airdrops, are on the free side. So you will get that, and you'll see your schematics. You'll start getting them pretty quick, but you won't be able to craft them unless you have the, pl uh, the plans for it, and your workbench is a certain level. And if it is, if you do have the plans, you guys can craft the ammo as well. Alright, moving on. Uh, finding food and loot in the game The number one way to get a lot of food is the dig up spot So you find that little picture that little picture I showed and you're gonna find a dig up spot and in the dig up spot There's gun parts to craft um, guns. There's some nails and different things, but there's also a lot of food It's really hard for me to cover every dig up spot because there's like so many different possible locations um, and fake ones, so I would just get real familiar with the map and try to get the picture um, And then you guys can try to get to the spot and dig it up That's gonna be the best way to to get food later on in your shelter when you build it up You guys can build up your uh, food boxes and your rat traps to get more food this map here I'm gonna show this too in this video. This is our uh, Grantham Valley And the reason I'm putting this in is because there's a pretty good loot spot um, down here at the forest camp it's on the it's kind of like south in the map across the river to the right there that whole forest area um, in there's a lot of food in this forest area inside the bushes 
there's a lot of food so you guys can get food but there's also a good little camp you guys can get some uh, starter weapons now they did change things with the ro there's like a map rotation so you can't just click this map every single time kind of run in here hit up the camp and leave real quick if you could you guys could get hundreds of weapons after whatever a few hours and you could scrap the weapons for building materials you'd really advance um, a lot faster but because of the way the rotation is you just got to wait for this map to come up i did do other videos though on some other loot spots and different maps so if you guys haven't seen that go check it out so here's one weapon crate and you can see i'm getting four weapons ammo gun parts and then uh there's a food crate i don't know there's only freaking two food in there and then there's another weapon crate you're gonna find stuff like this um pretty much in any map but what's good about this one is it's kind of tucked away in the forest so you don't really have to worry about dying as much so it's a little less uh it's a little less risky and it's near an exit so if you wanted to you can hit this up and you guys can um can leave the map or take your thompson and grease guns and shotguns and kill people that have really good guns and take their stuff that's always the uh, best way to get good guns but you can do it like this too All right, guys, we are moving on a little bit. So I want to talk about the airdrops that are in the red boxes and then the safe. The barred house, the safe. It's pretty much where people go. You can get food in there. You can get um, guns um, and get some loot. They added some new loot spots in Avigga recently for the holiday season, like a locked container. Um, so I think there's a couple new things, but... Vigor announced they're actually taking that stuff away after uh, the holidays. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but they're going to make you pay for it. So the only way you're going to see the locked uh, container and the new loot spots in your matches is if you increase the loot. To what extent, I don't know. Um, I think that's kind of ridiculous that you have to pay for it. But that's their call, I guess. Um, it's, just, it's just stupid. Um I hope they change the airdrops at least and make the airdrops random. 95% of the matches I play, it's only white airdrops because you got to pay money to increase the airdrops and people don't do that. It's so you're, you're, no one really even cares about the white crates. You don't really get anything good from them anyways. So for them to take that stuff away, I think it's kind of stupid. But, you know, I'm not in control of the game. I just cover it. We're at the uh, safe. You're going to know it's a safe because it's got like the 2x4s um, going across it. But here's the red box. So if you find one, you're going to get an airdrop. Keep in mind, guys, you can only carry one airdrop. So if you do find one of these during your match, there's no point to stick around for the airdrop at the end. Now, I'm going to play a little bit here. I'm with my buddy Knee Hut, and uh, we're on the new map. It is nighttime, so that's cool. And we're going to hit signal detector, and we're going to go to the safe right now. And this is kind of what your matches are like, for the most part. Everyone kind of runs to the safe. Pretty much half the map will. Yeah, we got a team to the left of the safe, a team to the right, and then we're, like, to the west. So we're gonna there's going to be six people all coming up to this thing pretty much at the same time we're probably gonna wipe each other out it's kind of half the uh, half the lobby right there all uh, right my buddy he's got a sniper rifle but I got an AKM so I gotta get a little closer if I want to try to kill anyone I see some people over at the safe so I'm gonna make my move I'm gonna get a little closer we'll see if I can uh, See if I can get lucky. This is still pretty far. But let's see. Let's see what I can do. Mm, yeah, 
was actually pretty good. I mean, I got I hit him a few times, but they're just a little too far. So I'm gonna just move a little bit closer and see if I can get get one of these guys. The AKM is a white gun. It's really good. Oh, I got him, man. That guy running around the corner, I got him. That was a good shot right there. All right, let's keep pushing the safe. Come on, Neha. Let's do this, buddy. You got this. Oh, there's a sniper in the trees right there. I'm going to ping him for him. After I shoot. I saw the lens phase right there, Neha. Come on, take him out, buddy. Take him out. He's right there, buddy. Come on. Oh, Neha just got shot in the face. That was brutal. That was awesome. All right, I see the dude running. I'm going to take his sniper rifle, legendary SVU, which is really good. And I'm going to see if I can kill this guy. I'm on my own now, everyone. My buddy, my teammate, he died on me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I got him. I got him. I think I avenged uh, Knee Hut, but I'm not, I'm not too sure if that was the the same guy or not. This is what it's kind of like uh, going to the safe for the most part. I'm going to scope it out a little bit before I try pushing it. Alright, I don't see... I haven't seen anyone. So I think I'm going to run. I think I'm going to make my way to the safe and try to open it and get the loot. Now I do have my buddy sniper rifle and my uh, AK. So let's uh, go here. There's at least uh, a couple dead bodies right here. So let's take this stuff. Let's go around the uh, corner and whoa, 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 dude, dude, dude. Oh, sh okay, guys, <laughs> you can shoot in first person and third person. So if you have a gun that has a scope on it. Uh, make sure you know what you're doing because if you switch guns and switch back, you're going to be in first person and you're going to shoot his leg like I just did there. Okay, there was an airdrop. It was hard to see, but there was an airdrop to, that fell um, to the right of the red house. I let the guy pick it up and I'm going to try to chase him down and kill him and get it. Okay, that was uh, surprisingly easy to say the least. Um, so yeah, about 10 minutes into the match, an airdrop comes, and you can kind of play it how you want. I, I stayed back a little bit there and waited for him to grab it and chase them down. Now, there are exit campers, so keep an eye out for that, because he's right there. He was, he was straight waiting. You know, he knew where the airdrop was coming, and he was just waiting at the exit, trying to get lucky. Uh, people do do this, so. You gotta be ready for it. I know he's over here somewhere. Guys, if you're still with me, we're almost like 14 minutes in the video. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you haven't, because, uh... I can't put up videos all the time, so you're going to lose me if you don't subscribe to the channel. Alright, there he is right there. Alright, let's um, see what he... Wow, he had nothing. He had like nine food on him. Okay. Oh, there's another dude. Uh, geez, there's another dude. Wow, good thing I just saw him when I did. He was right behind me. Oh, he's got a real gun, too. He's got a real gun. All right. Now I got to kill this freaking dude, too. All right, so you can shoot in first person or, thir or third person. I'm stuck on a branch or something. That's up to you guys how you want to play. I do both. All right, I got him. I got him there. So a lot of it is just learning the angles between third person and uh, obviously first person, too. He actually had a lot of loot on him. So I'm going to take his loot. I'm going to get out of here. Um, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope this will help some of you guys out that are new. 
And even for guys that have been playing a little while, if you watch most of the video or something, um, I appreciate that. It's going to be a busy month, so I will see you soon in uh, some future videos. I'm out of here. Peace.